hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well today is just going to be a quick face because we are going to the movies today and i started recording this but it was getting a little bit too long so i did my eyebrows already and i did record it but i think the video was going to be too long so if you guys are interested in how i do my brows i'll just do a completely separate video on it because yeah but th they're already done and i'll just do an eyebrow tutorial or something like that another time if you guys want to see it but basically there's so many eyebrow tutorials on youtube that you could definitely reference those i have a mirror right in front of me so i'm going to finish the rest of my face so i'm sorry if i'm going to be out of focus where i'm filming this in our kitchen area because this is where i get the best lighting um, so I've already done my brows, like I said earlier, and we're just going to chit chat and finish the rest of my makeup so that I can get dressed and get out of here. Okay, so eyebrows are already done. I already primed, of course, my face. And for primer, I've been using this MAC Skin Base. This is just like a little sample size that came in a MAC order that I placed, so I'm going to try it out. So far, so good. And then I got a sample of the Rihanna's primer, which is okay. I don't know if I'm gonna end up buying it or not because I wanna try other primers. And then I have on the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer because I have huge pores. So those are kind of the primers that I'm currently using right now. And excuse me looking crazy, got a scarf on and all of that kind of stuff, so let's get finished. Okay. So this is just gonna be a chit chat video. Um, I weighed myself today. I recorded my recorded my weight loss update by sixth and seventh month, and I was like 196.4 or something like that. I guess. Uh, well, today I weighed myself, and I'm 192. Point, I think it was 192.6. So, yay! I lost more weight, and I'm feeling great about that. I did go do some bra shopping, so after I upload this video, I will record the bras that I bought and the sizing that I'm at because I find on, I don't know if it's just me, but I haven't found a lot of videos where people reference what size they've dropped down to throughout the journey. Um, and I kind of want to document that so I can go back and look at it later when I make my big one year collage which I'm gonna have like a big celebration cause I'll be, it'll be my like surge anniversary and all of that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and finish with the face. So since I've already primed and everything and my brows are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. Um, I don't know what I really wanna do with my eyes today. I don't know. Sometimes I wear eyeshadow, sometimes I don't, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Um, sometimes I do if I feel like I wanna put on makeup. Now, I work from home, so I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup, sometimes I put on makeup and I don't even be going anywhere. But that's just lately. But usually, I don't wear makeup at all. Um, maybe a couple times out the week if I'm gonna step out or something. Or when I'm making a video. Cause I don't want to scare you guys like I was in my other videos where I wasn't wearing any makeup. So I was like, Adrian, you need to put on some makeup if you're going to record a video. So that's what I'm doing. But on a typical day, I do not wear a lot of makeup. Um, this is just the Mac Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. If you are a woman and you are my complexion, or even if you're a woman of color, I think that this is a good eyeshadow base and I use this because of course I am dark skin and I like my eyeshadow colors to pop and show up the way they they're true to their color so this helps with that and it helps keep it on all day you want to be careful not to use too much of that product because it can start to crease on your eye so just use a little bit of that and guys I'm gonna try to go really quick so I could get done but yeah I went to buy some new bras yesterday and the day before yesterday but they were necessary I had to get them like I had to so 
Um, how am I gonna do my eyes? How am I gonna do my eyes today? Okay, so I'm just gonna do something really quick and simple. But yeah, I had to get brows and I have definitely dropped quite a bit as far as my brows, I'm sorry, as far as my bra size is concerned. Um, I'm gonna use this, um, just this brown eyeshadow. It's by Makeup Geek. I've ordered some of their eyeshadows last year and I'm just now getting a chance to really use them. And this is just a fluffy brush. Guys, if I'm out of focus, I'm sorry, okay? But I'm hoping you guys can kind of get the gist of a quick, everyday makeup look for me. My brother found, a, um, not a computer, found me a camera that I've been eyeing. So I'm gonna talk to him and get that all set up so I can buy it or whatever. So it's definitely time I wanna do more professional videos and I don't know. I'm just starting like this because I wanted to at least start my channel, but I definitely should have had my equipment by now, but other things came up. I paid for my surgery and, you know, I just didn't have the appropriate funds to spend exclusively on a camera at the time, but I'm good to go now, so. Definitely gonna get a camera. So that was just like a kind of like a brownie kind of transition shade that I put down in my crease. So I'm just looking for another shade that I wanted to use. But of course, when I start recording videos, I have troubles finding things. Um, I dropped down in my pant size, but only like three sizes because my tummy area is bigger than like my tummy. I was top heavy, so I carried all my weight at the top. Little legs, tiny legs, but big stomach, big chest, big arms. And now that my arms are like disappearing, it's kind of crazy. Um... I'm gonna use this color here on my lid. This is my color, uh, Makeup Geek, and this is Bitten. And it's just like this really pretty cranberry shade. I love fall because fall is when you can really like, I don't know, fall fashion's good, fall makeup is good. Like, I just love fall. And it's kind of crazy because my birthday's in June, 29th to be exact, and I can't stand summer. Like, after the 4th of July, I'm over it. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I love springtime, too, because spring is not, it's still comfortable outside. And I just dampened my brush a little bit. You don't have to because this color is pretty pigmented. But I dampened my brush just a bit just to kind of get it to pop a little bit more. Okay. And so now I'm going to take another brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of dark brown in my crease. Just a little bit. A little, little, little bit. So yeah, I got some bras. I got three bras, guys. I needed at least, I wanted to just get two, but I ended up getting three because Lane Bryant had a sale. I got my first bra at Victoria's Secret and then Lane Bryant had a sale where you could buy one and you get 50% off the other one. So I only pay like eight bucks for the second bra. Winning, I always shop on sales for the most part. Cause that's my thing. This is just um, a dark brown color that I'm almost out of and it's by MAC. It's called Embark. It's been my favorite color for years and I'm just putting this in my crease. It looks like I'm brushing my face hard, but I'm not. You always wanna be gentle with your eyes. Um, but yeah. 
So I'm kind of nervous because I'm only I'm seven months out and I'm already I've dropped a lot of weight in my breasts. But I'm not against plastics. I'm actually gonna start going to consultations after my year so I could choose a surgeon and all that good stuff. I have so many goals, guys. I want to get a new car. I don't know. I'm just ready to like. I just have goals. So I have to stay focused on what I want. Because I get distracted. I get discouraged quickly sometimes. I mean, I come snap back to reality. But I do get discouraged a lot. So I just try to stay positive and just realize that things are gonna come when it's time for me to have them so that's maturity for you and then i'm just deepening up the crease of this with this makeup forever eyeshadow that i've got years ago and they don't have names for theirs i think this just says in 166 i don't even know if that is the next correct term or what we're going to see that Kingsman movie we went and saw the first one when it came out it was pretty good so I would I'm not gonna be against going and I'm gonna get something to eat too because I have not ate today I don't know guys if you're a lady and you're watching this let me know if you guys go through this where you crave everything in sight for the first week of your cycle and then after that you're not even hungry like you have to almost like i'm like forcing myself to eat which is kind of crazy like i'm forcing myself i'm not even hungry today for real but i have to eat i have to take my vitamins do my protein I just hope that anybody that's getting this weight loss surgery, please, please, please know that it is work, okay? Like, it is not, oh, get weight loss surgery and then you have the perfect body because <laughs> that is not the case. You have to, like, really discipline yourself, learn about nutrition, count your carbs, count your protein. I mean, you really have to stay on top of your stuff. So, it just really, really bites me that you have to do so much. All right, so. I'm just putting, blending all my colors that I applied onto my face, my eyes today. All right. All right. Okay. So there is just basically the gist of my eyes. I need to buy a liquid eyeliner and I have to remember to put that on my to buy list. I'm just gonna use this pencil one that I got. So I prefer liquid liner over pencil. I just feel like liquid shows up a lot better. Okay. I'm gonna load this video and then I'm, when I get back, I'll probably record my um, brawl video. You know, how I feel about my boobs. I don't know guys, I've always had big breasts. Like, I swear to you, I'm not even kidding. I've always had big boobs. And now that my boobs are, I guess you could say a normal size. I don't even know what's a normal size. It's freaking me out. Like, it's, it's starting to get to me. At first, I wasn't really tripping about it. But now, 
I'm like, wow. My breasts are like disappearing. I told my mom yesterday what size bra I wear. And she was like, oh my goodness. Because, I mean, I've never... I haven't been in a 30 anything since I was in like the 4th or 5th grade. So, when I tell you I've always had big boobs, I've always had big boobs. Seriously. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation really quick. And I picked up the Rihanna Fenty foundation and I'm in the shade 470. I only wear this like on special occasions. It's a nice foundation guys. It really is. It's worth it. Prior to this, I was always wearing my makeup forever or just a little bit of concealer and powder from MAC. That's it. So that's all that I'm going to put on my face. And I like to take my fingers and blend it in first. There's so many reviews on this foundation. I could just tell you that it's bomb. And that you need to go into the store to get color matched. If you have it or you thought about buying it or you like makeup like me. And you had to get it either way. Go get color matched. Because I picked up a color that was way too dark. I actually posted it on my Instagram. Because it was, whoo, it was dark. And I'm a dark girl. So, it was too dark for me. And this foundation does tend to kind of oxidize a little bit. So, just keeping that in mind as well. And then all I do is take like a buffer kind of brush and I just buff it in more. I hate that line. So I take it down my neck. And I'm two different colors anyway. <clears throat> Probably more than that because I'm lighter on my arms. Then sometimes I'm darker on my arms. It just depends. But to me, for a natural looking foundation, you have to blend that mess out. You cannot be walking around with your foundation not blended. It's just not practical, it's sane. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight I don't do this in any particular order. This is just the LA Girl Pro Concealers um, and Toast. And then I have another color called Cool Tan. I don't really like this color, but I'm going to work with it anyway. Because I've already purchased it. I'm going to pick these up at my beauty supply store. Got my beauty blender here. I'm just gonna blend this on out. I'm doing this quick, guys, because I don't want my time to run out for my recording. It's another movie that's coming out. I forgot. The Mountains Between Us. Something like that. It's got that one actor in there. And then that other actress that played in Titanic. Idris, Idris, Idris Alba. And it has that lady that played in the Titanic. I love her. I'm going to see that. Babe is taking me to go see it. But I don't think that comes out until the 9th. So... But I love romance movies. Like, I'm a romantic 
person. I like comedies too. But if I had to pick a movie to sit down and watch like right away, it would be a romantic movie because that's just what I like. Who doesn't love a good tearjerker? I love those. So. But yeah, when you start losing weight, like when you start losing like 70, 50 plus pounds, I think that's when I started to notice the biggest difference in myself. I'm like, wow. At first I wasn't noticing anything. You know, I honestly, I mean, I knew I was losing weight because I was weighing myself, but I didn't really realize that I was losing as much weight as I was losing. Like that was crazy to me. Okay, now with this Rihanna foundation, you don't have to set it, but I do because I'm just that kind of person. I like to set my makeup because I am oily sometimes. So I'm just using this MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish. And I am taking it all down my neck. And then I'm going to use this MAC Prep and Prime. This is like a white powder, but it doesn't look white on you. And I'm going to use that where I highlight it. I'm out of this, so I need to get a new one. I always rebuy this product because I love the way it looks. And it doesn't give me that ashy cast underneath my eyes. I just like it. Okay, and then I'm gonna contour a little bit with Embark by MAC is what I'm currently using. I need to get some new contour shades, but when you're darker, it's hard to find contour shades, so. Well, that's pretty much it. Well, hi baby. Why are you talking like that? And then I'm just doing this uh -huh. to my nose. Yeah. Yeah, I call twice. Alright. I, I want to make sure y'all didn't answer. I want to make sure y'all got some food. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish. Y'all at home? Yeah. Y'all riding your bikes? And I'm just blending this on my nose. My nose is kind of a pain on oh, my butt. And then that's it. And now I'm going to add some blush to my cheeks. Y'all going to bring the computer next weekend, right? Okay. And then that is pretty much it, guys. I'm just putting some um, on my cheeks. Friday, you don't have school? Yeah. You want to come over? Yeah. Okay, you better bring the computer. And now I'm about to just do my mascara. And this is pretty much it. And excuse the no the noise in the background. I mean, I am recording, but they don't care. Because I got clay on 
So, I'm just going to finish recording this. And then all I'm going to do, guys, is highlight um, my face. I'm going to highlight with a highlighter, and then that will be it. So I just wanted to chit-chat with you guys and show you how I do my makeup. So I'm going to go finish and then do my hair, and then I'm going to record a bra video and get this one uploaded. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Just thank you for taking the time to kind of see what I'm doing as far as my weight loss journey but I wanted to show you guys how I kind of get ready for the day okay bye guys